So I'm Lau here from Coliseum Gym with Marty Quinn. Back I'm gonna here. get a clatter off one of these rights now in a minute. I would like you, you're all right. Fucking glad to hear it, Jesus Christ. Marty, you're preparing for Luke Caffrey. Do yeah. you know Luke Caffrey from Norwich in England on the 10th of December yeah. on McConnell's undercard? Yeah. What's the feelings, man? It happens. <laughs> yeah, that's the primary well, concern. It should happen. It should. I don't see anything stopping this one now. Yeah. But I need to do wrong myself. <laughs> um, how frustrating was it? With the Owen O'Neill fight falling out at the last, well, not the last minute exactly, but kind of pretty well, close to the fight. It was about two weeks of the fight. Yeah. So it was frustrating because it was only back after a year from my last fight. So, like, kind of put it all in, I gave up a bit of work and that. And then I was pulled down, so. So we found a loss of motivation to go back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're back where we have a little. Uh, yeah, hopefully this one comes through. Yeah. yeah. Right. Thoughts on Luke Caffrey? Know anything about him? I haven't a clue. I never even heard his name until it was said to me. So, it's all the one to me. You don't really care about the opponent, do you? I, I, I heard the box not pick and choose, you know? Yeah. I ain't anyways. <laughs> one fight he was put in front of me, kind of thing, you know? Yeah, I know that. Maybe yeah. a bad thing. But, but you're kind of a fighter's fighter, aren't you? You, you want to you wanna get in a fight, you want to fight hard fights, you're not yeah. really interested in. I don't, I don't, I've never took an easy fight out of me, I know I've only had five, but as we said, we would have had about ten if they all had me back. Yeah. You know? Talk to me about the difficulties of the last fight falling through, you were talking to me about like, sponsors gave you money for the last fight yeah. and now like that money's gone and you know what, financially it's not easy and I'm stuff. I'm to get rid of me phone and all of it, just because... I don't want to keep putting up all the stuff of me training and then the fight falls through and stuff like that so I'm just going to give social media a this on this one or look after the sponsors on the next one yeah. I'm just want to, I'm going to just get stuck in you know 100% I like say, say this nearly every fight and then you all either pull through or something bad goes wrong you know so yeah. I'm hoping now every from today everything goes well as it says me the minute we finish bar, I'll have to go up and run to collect two kids. <laughs> oh, it's tough, like, you know? Yeah. And as I said, boxing doesn't pay the bills at the minute. Yeah. It's hard, like, but... Is the hope for you that you can kind of get in and start consistently fighting, yeah. say, kind of Irish-level guys, and guys where you can actually get paid, yeah. and you can have competitive fights, and whether you win or lose some fights, you're, you're kind of, you're always okay. there, you're in. That's it. Do you know what I mean? Because I know that you're, that's your attitude. Yeah. Like, you're not necessarily going, oh, I'm going to go on this mad streak of winning. It's you're like, hard. I want to get in and have hard fights. Like. We free play the butch now, straight away, two fights, straight back. But it's still a bit of pressure. Like I'd like to go in and probably do four weeks and then look for a fight instead of going straight in and now this is the limit, this is the time. Because it, it puts a lot, as I said, like, we have to walk around kids and everything. So, but look at this is boxing, isn't it, for you? Yeah. So, and I'll get this for you out of the way and hopefully then I'll get a little run, a good yeah. run. Like, Hopefully get the win as well, man, because it'll do, do wonders for you, I think. Well, I'm not going for Lewis anyways. Yeah. You know, like, I was, I, as I said, I'd never heard of this fella, I'd never looked at him. Like, it's, it's, I, I looked at his box like that was it. Just, cause, just to see when he, he rang me and told me. He only told me last week that the fight was there if I wanted it. So I had a look at his box like, he's training all. Like, the three fights he had, none of them even had a win. They all got like 67 losses and all that stuff. Like as I said, I, I, I don't go on that. When I go in there, when they're hitting you, and mm. <laughs> then you know what they're like, you know what I mean? Definitely. Like, I don't really like to look at fights because it kind of puts me off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I just like to go in and go with it. Do, do what you do, kind of. I fight, I fight better against a better fighter yeah, yeah, yeah. than I do against it. I don't know why, but I fight any man. I fight any man. <laughs> I just find that we find that we fight better against someone better. Yeah. That actually gets in and fight boxes with me. Yeah, yeah. You know, like the, um, even the last fella I fought in Spain. We, we watched the fight about a million times. They gave it like in, in fairness a Spanish fight and in Spain. Like they gave it two judges gave it a draw, one gave it to him by a point. Yeah. You know, so like if you watch the fight, we 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 got the better shots. All my shots were accurate and cleaner. 
all his shots at the back in the head and he was just, he was the aggressor to be honest. Like, ah, look, I hate him flinting out our talk about that, but <laughs> it obviously still leaves a bit yeah, of a burn, like, stings, like. Because it stings, like. Cause I shouldn't have lost it. Yeah, yeah, And it kind of annoys me, you know. But I think the way to look at it maybe is that you have uh, a chance of kind of redemption now on the next card, and it's on. Like, to be fair as well, Marty, like, yeah. mix on that card, like, it's a big yeah, deal, isn't it? Like, it's a great card to be on. And I think it's on the telly, is it? Um, I'm not 100 percent sure about the lineup. Like, if your fight will be on the broadcast, but it's on TG Cahar, I know that much. Well, I'm sure you put me on it. <laughs> I wanna say a good fight. <laughs> yeah, well, give a good fight. So. Definitely, yeah. Here, quick word on uh, Owen Duffy and Owen O'Neill being made on the Mark Dunlop show. What do you make of that fight? We, personally, we think we think Owen Duffy beats him. Yeah. In what way? Like, how does he get it done? I Alan Duffy's a good boxer. Yeah, he's kind he's of a like standard boxer. He would him a lot. Me and Tony would have been the in the club. He would have been him as an amateur with us. Like, he's strong. I've heard he's not. He hasn't can't do this. He hasn't got the best of him. I don't mean that to disrespect him, but he's had to get knocked out a couple of times, isn't he? In spars and stuff like that. So, but your man Alan hasn't got to stop you even in this fight, has he? No. I don't think he stopped anyone. Owen Duffy. Owen O'Neill has Owen O'Neill. Oh, oh, is that what I mean? Owen O'Neill. Uh, well, it's Owen O'Neill and Owen Duffy, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so. I don't think Owen has stopped anyone, so. Yeah. It'd be close, Luke, but I think. It's a better fight, isn't it? I think if it goes all the way, I think Owen will out, or Duffy will out box him. Okay. But Duffy, Duffy is a good boxer. I don't know the reason why he said I love Alan O'Neill, so I don't really like talking bad about him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but he's, he, listen, he's actually annoying and Alan now. Yeah. Like, why fight, so. fight somebody decent? Like, but he, he's after taking an Irish fight, so you have to give him the head. And he took you as well. And he was taking me as well, yeah. Fair enough. But listen, they all, they all took me. I was a mountain fight so I got because I lost him last week. Now I'm wanted to fight me after the Frenzy fight. Yeah, yeah. And I brought that out of fight the night and that one. You know, the Carl Kelly fight got fight of the year. Just because I, I look bad on that fight because he made me look bad. Mm. He was just running at me like it was terrible, terrible for you. <laughs> First time in Spain, he cut the weight over there. It was tough. Yeah. Look, we can all make excuses. We still lost at the end of the day. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Here, last thing I want to ask you is. Are you getting better in this gym? Are you getting better under Butch P? Are you improving your boxing skills here? And how do you feel going into the next fight? Do you feel like you're an improved one, fighter? One, one so you give, one so you give a hundred percent. A lot. I always feel like a boxer. Yeah. As I said, I'm, 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 it's, it's hard when you when you when fights get cancelled when you give all that time. It's hard to get straight back into the gym. So like I, I haven't been back in probably two, probably two and a half weeks, three weeks tops that I haven't been in. I'm straight in now to a spa, there's no messing in here, like, you know what yeah. I mean? Now, we're, we're, we won't, we're, I can't miss any days because it's what, only four weeks now, so yeah. we'll have to go all out now. So, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. I'm just going to get stuck in now. Dead. To get this fight out of the way. Great to hear it, man. Sam, Thanks thank for you talking to Irishboxing.com, Marty. We love it. <laughs>